On Halloween in Winston-Salem, a haunted house might await for Miami. A full house of demon deacons, in fact, want to have the last laugh. Wake Forest quarterback Riley Skinner is trying to exercise a demon of his own. He's never beaten the Hurricanes, while Ja'Cory Harris tries to erase last week's Clemson nightmare. It's Wake Forest and Miami now. This time the Canes rush only four. Skinner tries to run for it. Touchdown, Wake Forest. have all three timeouts as Harris sends one down the sideline has a man it's Collier to the 35 yard line with a quick strike it stops the clock 25 seconds to go in the first half and you hang on to all three of your timeouts and that's why they keep, try to keep the ball away from this Miami offense they are very explosive and you'll see right here Collier just runs a corner route and nobody's back there good job nice big chunk there and get out of bounds chance to get some points be big for the Hurricanes before half since you have your timeouts, you can run it with Cooper. He's down the sideline. All the way to about the 16-yard line before he's run out with another first down, a gain of 19 more yards. But Corey Harris stretches a play to Barry. Cuts it back at the goal line, and he's in for a Canes touchdown. With three seconds to go in the half. Huge play in this football game. Miami, who has been outplayed in every facet of the game in this first half, now potentially can go in at halftime down by six points. That's a huge drive, too. You end up with the ball with 33 seconds to go before halftime. You'd probably be happy with a field goal. Instead, the Canes get this touchdown. And having your timeout allows you to run the football, and Damian Berry, the downhill running back, is your man. Osher tacks on the point, and it's a six-point game. Skinner beats it right up the middle. No one home for Chris Gibbons. Touchdown. Well, there's the risk you run when you play zero coverage. Harris again. A big play on fourth down, and it's hauled in. Now Darius Johnson to the 30-yard line of Wake Forest, and it stops the clock with 1.32 to go. <laughs> Well, you do it long enough, and maybe you'll get one that comes down, and Johnson goes up and makes a great play with his hands. Big conversion. Harris up the seam. He's got Benjamin to the 13-yard line. Another first down, and Miami stops the clock with 1.21 to go. you got plenty of time here with a timeout left. You can run the ball, throw it, whatever you want. Play action. Harris flips it towards the goal line. Touchdown. Underthrown. Touchdown! Travis Benjamin makes the touchdown catch. <laughs> McManus to try and keep the game alive. He'll run for it, and he'll get it. Stays in bounds. First down to the 43-yard line and bumped out of bounds by Sam Shields. Eight seconds to go. And we mentioned it against this defense man coverage that McManus may have to run the ball with his feet. But right there, a great job getting out of bounds, getting yards. Can Wake Forest find the sideline and another seven or eight yards to make it at least an attemptable field goal? Or make a first down and spike it. McManus to the sideline. Dropped. Four seconds to go. Well, now your percentage play might be to just try a monster field goal. You're at the 43-yard line. This is about a 60-yard field goal attempt for a true freshman to win it. And rather than try a Hail Mary thrown in the end zone, that's exactly what Jim Grobe is going to do. Earlier today, Jimmy Newman hit his career long a 42-yarder. This one a 60-yarder to try and win it. And Miami will call their last timeout. And, and the thing about it for, for a young kid, a, a true freshman in Jimmy Newman, the pressure, if it was a 45-yard field goal, there would be tremendous pressure on him to make it because everybody expects you to make it. Well, now it's a 60-yard field goal. And you know what? 
a lot of people don't expect you to make it. So a lot of the pressure is off of this young kid. That's a great point. You know, and, and if he's got the leg, that's the key. If he has the leg, then he has a chance because he shouldn't be nervous. No one expects him to make this kick. No, no. <laughs> well, except for him, I, you know. <laughs> Hopefully him, but. <laughs> But it was an interesting call in that last play. First down with eight seconds. They may have tried to throw the ball at first down depth to get a first down, stop the clock, and then run up and spike it. But they decided to throw a four-yard play on the outside. Here we go. After the timeout, Jimmy Newman, the true freshman from Oxford, Alabama, 60 yards away to try and win it for Wake Forest. And it's off by a mile. What a drive by the Hurricanes as they come from behind in the fourth quarter. Randy Shannon and his sophomore quarterback, Ja'Cory Harris, with a terrific come from behind win. Miami survives. 28 to 27 is your final.